What's up everybody, this is Mike coming at you with another title technique of the week and this week we are talking about uppercuts. These are your round punches that are coming up underneath and kind of down the center at that opponent. So I want you to imagine that you're hitting somebody underneath their chin, maybe right to their diaphragm, um, but it's that punch, that round punch that comes up and under. So for these uppercuts, we're going to start in our guard, chin down, hands up, elbows in like we always do. And we're going to start with that hip movement. Because remember, all these punches are powered by our hips. What I'm doing on the uppercut that's a little different, instead of moving side to side, is I'm driving that hip forward and kind of up. So boom, on that lead uppercut, I drive that hip forward to power that punch. Boom, I drive that hip forward to power that punch on the rear side. On the side angle, you can see it a little bit better. So on that lead side, bang, right here, you can see it even better with that rear uppercut. Boom, right there. The hip moves forward to power the punch. And then I bring my arm up in that similar hook position where my arm is bent, trying to hit with these top two knuckles right here to make contact with my target. And notice how when I'm going to the head here, I'm going straight up with that punch, trying to catch that guy right underneath his chin. You can take it down lower to the body if you're aiming for solar plexus or, or the gut. Um, that's it, okay. Just remember to get that hand back up. All right, so for practicing uppercuts, I like to use the aqua bag right here. Um, when I'm using the aqua bag, what I'm trying to do is get underneath that bag and come straight up and driving that hip forward to power that punch. If you get a chance to try out the aqua bag at the gym, definitely give it a shot. It's a lot of fun. However, I know we only have one of those, so I'm going to show you what, uh, how you want to practice your uppercuts on uh, the tie bag here. So you, you have a couple of options. The first one um, is if you're going to the chin, you can just miss the bag if you're trying to come straight up. So boom, right there. Almost trying to skin the surface of that bag. Um, if this works different muscles than if you're connecting, something to try out. If you want to make that impact, if that's what you want to work on, try and change the angle of that punch. So instead of coming straight up, I'm going to come out a little bit, almost a little bit like a shovel punch. Boom, right there. Kind of don't have the same problem when you're going down to the body. So you can just come in low like so. So a couple things to be careful of when you're throwing your uppercuts. The first one is going to be um, when you start that punch, there is the tendency to kind of wind up and drop that hand down low to your hip. Uh, that leaves your whole body open. We don't want to do that. That's also a pretty significant tell for your opponent. So we want to make sure that we throw those uppercuts off of our chin, always bringing those hands back so that we stay protected. Um, the second thing is going to be keep your stance when you're throwing these uppercuts. Whether you're throwing it on, on a combo or you're doing a burner, try and keep that stance because, again, all that power comes from that hip turn. So what I see a lot, is, especially on burners, is folks will kind of straddle the bag and come here. I lose a lot of power, and we never want to have a stance that's, that's that square because we can get thrown off balance very easily. Uh, part two of that is we want to keep those uppercuts out in front of us. Again, with some of those burners, the tendency to come back here where the arm is hyperextended back, which is not a great position for your shoulder. So kind of keep those punches out in front, out in front, keeping that good stance on those burners. All right, guys, that is the uppercuts. Give it a shot. Show us what you got. Uh, tag me, tag Title Maplewood. Leave any questions you have down in the comments, and I'll see you next time.